In this video I will show you how to recreate this dynamic photo slideshow that will be perfect for your travel content. You can move the slides to any direction. Transitions, animations and text are all included in this tutorial. The final part, transition from photo to video, no problem, just be creative. This will be amazing for weddings as well. I will show you how to download a free background, so let's start. My favorite website for royalty-free stock photos or videos is Pexels. On the main page, just search for the texture background. You will find multiple good images for your slideshow, but look for symmetry, maybe the same color and choose one. You will see later the magic behind. You can view them in full screen and download them for free. This is not a mandatory step, but could be useful to know how to set the default durations. Go to Preferences, User and Editing. Here you can set the default duration for your still photos or transitions. We are going to use both of them in this tutorial. Another item to check is the timeline settings. In the output region, set the mismatch resolution to be scale entire image to fit. I added one image as a background and I'm going to scale to be on the entire frame. You can duplicate the background as many times as you need by pressing options on Mac or Alt on Windows. Then move them to the right. From the effects menu, we need to search for push transition. Move the transition between the first two elements. And let's adjust the properties using the inspector. I will increase the duration from 2 to 3 seconds. We can push to any direction. I will push this one to the right. Add a small border and enable the feather. Add just a little motion blur and the background will be blended together. For the animation I will choose Ease In and Out and looks like this. Now select the second background and go to the video tab. In here you will need to play with flip. To me looks perfect so far, so I'm going to duplicate the transition between all my backgrounds. To make it more interactive, you can push to a different direction. Now I need to use the flip again for the second background. I will repeat the process for the other one as well. Here is my final result of the background. Drag and drop your pictures on the second layer. In case you want multiple photos on the same slide, just add them on top. In my last slide, I'm going to add one video. Right click on the image and open Infusion. Go to the Effects, Templates and search for Border. Add a color border effect between the two nodes. And the border is done. I need now to redo the entire process for all my pictures. You can play with the border and make it rounded if you need. Now I need to increase the size of the border. Do the same for all and here is the current progress. Using the inspector you can manipulate the image to be as you like. Change the size, position or rotation angle. To move them easily you can activate the transform button and move them with your mouse.
Like this, you can change the rotation and size as well. Redo the same for all, and in case you like, you can use Peach or Yo to look more like a 3D. I'm going to cut the video in two parts. The cut should match the duration of the background. Right click on the first part and change clip speed. Check the freeze frame and press the save button. In this way your video is now a still image. On the video zoom in to eliminate the borders and you can make the image smaller now. Nice progress. Here is the current result. Search for the text effect and move it on top of the first image. In the inspector, change the title. For this, I would like to use the Amsterdam font and use the black color. Change any other style if you need. Duplicate the transitions for all the layers. Looks good. Continue to add all the transitions even there is nothing in the left or right. Make sure the alignment is always center. Next element that we are going to introduce is called dynamic zoom. I like to use is in and out and press the swap button. Add the dynamic zoom to all the elements that are on top of the background. You can reposition elements if needed. In case after the zoom, you cannot see the entire image, so you can rescale until it's visible again. For the last image, I'm going to add the animation using the keyframes. Add a keyframe for zoom using this button. Now move at the end of the image. Add another keyframe and change the size. In case it's not visible, you will need to change from dynamic zoom to transform button. Another animation that you can add is to right click on the keyframe and change from linear to is in or out. In the effects, search for shadow. Drag and drop this effect and you can change the style as you wish. You need to drag this effect on all your clips. This is the default style of the shadow. I'm going to make this image shorter to have better results. Enjoy the result on the full screen, have a wonderful day and see you next time.